The marriage of the Pentagon and Silicon Valley is here, and you choose if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Secretary Ash Carter announced that the Pentagon is funding a new venture to develop high-tech, cutting-edge electronics and sensors that can flex and also can be uh, integrated into the uniforms of the military, but not only that, also into the aircrafts and ships of the military. And these sensors, Nick, they're crazy because they're trying to create environmental sensors, the vitals of the soldiers, yeah. um, that can actually telecommunicate to a central command and trigger responses and trigger repairs in some of the cases, trigger medical uh, advice or treatment. It's, it's looking down into the future. This is going to be called the Flexible Hybrid Electronic Institute, 162 different tech companies, including education uh, institutions like Harvard, Apple, Boeing, and uh, plenty of others that are going to be developing technology with the military. Now, the Defense Department has been coasting up to Silicon Valley in the last few months. Mm -hmm. um, they've been creating these programs. Actually, they created a, the Defense Innovation Experimental Unit that is actually a group, a think tank, de dedicated only to find the points of connection in between Pentagon and Silicon Valley technologies and how they can integrate the tech. So uh, this sounds pretty cool to me. Why, why could it possibly be a bad thing? I mean, if you see it from the perspective of public opinion, do you think Apple and some of these tech companies that, to the point, they seem neutral from global armed conflicts, right. now they're going to be supporting a military? In that sense, the other is maybe that now that they're doing business together, mm -hmm. granted this is through a third-party institute that you know, brings everyone together under that, that umbrella, but the more they work together, the more it concerns me that our data at some point might be mm -hmm. in a change with the military. Okay, I, uh, good point, good point. But, you know, from a, you know, to take the other side, I mean, look, I'm sure a lot of Pentagon officials would kind of say, well, look, without these kinds of partnerships, we wouldn't be able to develop these kind of technologies at all. You know, they'd have to employ their own people, their own facilities and everything. So it's much cheaper, right, for the government. They're potentially saving a lot of money this way. And look, as far as I'm concerned, look, it starts out with technology for for the army, which is a good thing. It'll help them do their jobs easier and maybe even potentially save lives, um, be more efficient in the way that they do things. But it starts there, but then, you know, you could see down the line, maybe that technology will be passed down to you and I, and maybe you and me very soon will be wearing these sorts of sensors and this wearable technology. I mean, if we're talking about bending electronics, that's yeah. awesome. And think about that for telephones, for cell phones being bendy, you know, coming from someone who breaks their screen every single week. I like week. that, and that, normally I'm very critical about the investment in military research and in, in, in military in general. But this one in particular, I like it because I'm, I'm a fan of tech, but also because it centers more into the well-being of the soldier that is doing his job right. instead of developing a bigger bomb or yeah. you know cyber attack te technologies that we don't know for sure that they're not working on them yeah. you know, behind door, closed doors. But it is cool to see that the tables kind of flip because before it was the military who was cutting edge and developing this in secret and then passing it on to the consumer side and now it's open it's out there where the military says we we need to get in touch with this pool of talent and this disruptors and innovators that are going to allow us to keep the military being high tech at the and you know in a moment that unfortunately we keep involving ourselves in armed conflicts and we try to keep that you know, machine it's, of the military industrial complex moving. Yeah, it's very interesting to see how things change, right? Yeah. Because, you know, before it used to be the military that all, had all the cutting edge technologies. A lot of inventions came from, you know, World War II. But it's interesting to see that, like you said, the tables have turned and now it's kind of vice versa. Now they're looking to these private companies. Mm -hmm. We want to know your opinion, how you feel about this situation. Leave your comments below and please subscribe to the Leap TV too.